Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Manchuk, and this is my devotion for Friday, December 18th. I'm from Central uh, United Methodist Church. Okay, take two, Robin, take two. <laughs> Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Manchuk, pastor at Central United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. We've been talking during the season of Advent of traveling light and letting go of those things that hold us back spiritually in our relationship with God and with one another. We've been talking uh, this past week about what it means to let go of bitterness in our lives, bitterness that poisons our love, our intimacy, and our trust in our relationships with one another and with God. I'd like to read a scripture for us this morning. It comes from Ephesians 4, verses 31 and 32. Put away from you all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander, together with all malice, and be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ has forgiven you. May God add a blessing to that reading and hearing. Of his holy word. So we have these, this bitter root that can grow within us. Bitter roots begin with seeds of uh, seeds of deception, uh, seeds of uh, bitterness that grow into this root. Seeds of offense that they grow into these roots. Little things that can just become huge. Uh, issues in our lives. So the question as we end this week, and we dealt with uh, yesterday a little bit, is how do we kill the bitter roots within our lives? Well, yesterday we talked about how you kill it with compassion and kindness, letting those things well up within us in our dealings with one another, even those who have offended us. We don't kill people with kindness. We kill the bitter root with kindness and compassion. The big idea for this entire week is that we cannot control other people, but we can control our reaction. So the first thing is to kill the bitter root with compassion and kindness. The second is that we kill it with forgiveness. Wow, what a powerful concept for us. Forgiveness is a, is a tough concept to fully understand. We, we often, you know, in, in life you say, no, I'm sorry. You bump into somebody, oh, I'm sorry. But there are those moments in our lives where we are sorry and we are repentant and we are deeply uh, regretful of what we've done. And when you say, I'm sorry, I think you need to go a step further and ask for forgiveness and grace from the other person. So many times I've had people tell me that they've forgiven others, but I can see within them that root of bitterness, that they are holding on to a grudge. But we have Christ, friends, as our example. And how did Jesus forgive? Immediately and freely, generously, absolutely, fully, and unconditionally. Think about Jesus as he hung on the cross. He said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. As he was dying on the cross, Christ offered forgiveness. And then before he, he died, he said another word. He said, it is finished. And that's what we have to do in our lives. We have to forgive one another so that these issues of that become bitter roots, that, that grow out of uh, little offenses, seeds of offenses, is killed once and for all so that we can proclaim it is finished. And then we have the potential and the great possibility of our relationships being restored and renewed. That's really important stuff for us, friends, as we think about what it means to kill a root that uh, is dangerous, it's a dangerous root that bears <laughs> uh, uh, poisonous fruit. Thanks to uh, Pastor Chris Beal for that rhyming analogy. <laughs> Friends, 
What does it mean to forgive? I've often said that for true forgiveness means that you no longer hold someone else responsible for your pain. Once you've offered that forgiveness, once you've taken those steps to restoring that relationship, you can no longer hold them accountable for your pain. If you're holding on to the pain of an issue in your life or a relationship, that's at, what, at some point that becomes your responsibility to deal with once you've offered that forgiveness. Just something to think about, friends, as we are in this time of the holidays when we're relating to one another and there's a lot of potential for seeds of offense to grow into bitterness. We don't want that to happen. We want relationships to be fruitful and meaningful and reflective of God's love in each of our lives. Let's live our lives in the example of Christ who forgave so freely, so generously, so deeply. And uh, he offers that forgiveness to everyone, you and me. Let's pray. Gracious God, as we travel light during the season of Advent and let go of bitterness in our lives, help us to really plumb the depth of what that means for us. We ask that your grace be sufficient and guide us in our relationships so that we may love and seek intimacy and, and trust in our relationships with one another and with you. May it be so in the name of Christ our Lord and through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey friends, it's Friday. Hope to see you in worship. Join us at uh, Waterford Central uh, United Methodist Church, uh, uh, waterfordcumc.org is our website. God bless and take care.